What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Austin. Today we got a super exciting video. I'm doing a stud conversion on the Audi so we could run 5x112 and 5x114 wheels, which is the new set of the BBS RS wheels I got. So it should be a super simple install today. Basically all we're gonna be doing is jacking it up, taking the wheels off, putting the studs in with some red Loctite, uh, let them saw it up, and then should be good to go. Put the wheels back on, put it back on the ground. The kit I'm going to be using today is actually from Project B5. Uh, basically, these are the studs. As you can see, they're a little bit thinner, so you could run the 5x114 wheel on there without any problems. Uh, you got 20 studs, 20 lug nuts, and then I'll be using some red Loctite to put those guys on there. Other than that, that should be everything you really need. All right, let's jack this thing up, get the wheels off, and let's get started. So the two main reasons I'm doing this, if any of you guys have Euro cars, you know it's a little annoying when you're running a spacer on the wheel uh, to try and just line up the wheel, line up the spacer with the hub to get the lug or uh, the lug bolts in. It's a little annoying. That's one reason. Won't have to deal with that anymore. Also, running the 5x114 wheels on here without having to redrill the wheels or get adapters or anything like that. I don't really want to mess with that. It's easier to put the wheels on with studs, so those are the kind of the main reasons I'm doing this. All right, so as you can see here, we have the hub, basically these lug nut or these uh, stud bolts, basically just gonna be going in right here, put with some red Loctite on there, do them about hand tight, and then that's basically all we're gonna be doing. Super simple, you don't wanna torque these things down super tight because you don't want them binding up, um, but that's basically all we're gonna be doing. All right, so we're just gonna take some of this red thread lock lock tight just put it like a drop about two drops on here and then just screw it right on the hub hand tight and we should be good to go with all five all right so the lug bolts are in there gonna be, wait about 10 minutes to let them cure and then we should be able to put the wheel back on and put it back on the ground all right now that the studs are perfectly set in with the lock tight i'll show you that you could sit you could fit five by one twelve wheels and five by one hundred so throwing on the spacer is a lot easier. Just slap it on. These BBS RS wheels are 5x114. Perfectly fit. Then I have my stock Audi wheels here. perfect fit as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt these on and get started on the front. All right, here we are at the front. Just gonna be doing the same thing with the red Loctite here. Just putting about two drops on the threads on the top here. Doing about hand tying to the hub. Front lug bolts in. Gonna go ahead and slap the spacer on. And slap the wheel on and torque them down. All right, got the driver's side conversion done so far. They look a little bit funky on these stock wheels. Uh, but once we get the RSs on and the center caps go over them, obviously you won't be able to see them, so everything will be good. Go ahead and flip the car around and start on the other side. All four corners are done. I'm super happy with the way they turned out. It's gonna be a lot easier mounting these BBS RS wheels and just make it a lot easier for everything else. A little bit of update on here before I end today's video. I am ordering the uh, conversion kit for the BBS RSs today. Be about maybe two weeks before all the parts are in here and then we'll get a, a rebuild on the wheels, get them on. We should be having the car on the wheels in maybe a couple weeks. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, please, and I'll see you guys uh, next video. Thank you so much for watching.